Diddy Monstrosity's O.U.T. over Suge Knight going out of him prison to uncover him. It shows up that Diddy's most noticeably awful bad dreams are coming genuine, as his industry adversaries are getting out of him prison prior than anticipated. Rumors on the road recommend that Suge Knight is returning to the genuine world, and these rumors panic the music tycoon more than anything else. Considering their longtime hamburger and the dull insider facts behind the scenes, will Diddy confront results after Suge's discharge? Let's burrow into the details. Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. Suge Knight hasn't been within the news much as of late, but at whatever point individuals conversation approximately him, it's worth tuning in. Clearly, he is one of the foremost frightening and feared figures within the hip-hop community. They say that Diddy, who right now spreads dread within the industry, is frightened out of his wits at the thought of Suge being discharged from in prison soon. Sherlock has as of now attempted different traps to induce out of jail, from COVID to visual deficiency, but nothing has worked for him. Be that as it may, the hip-hop community has been hypothesizing as of late that Suge and his legal counselor, the notorious David Kenner, have at last found a way to decrease his sentence by 15 a long time. In the event that you missed the story, Suge was initially sentenced to a shocking 28 a long time in jail. But what does all this mean for Diddy? Agreeing to insiders, Suge isn't coming out to spend his days in retirement. He plans to be back within the diversion and rebuff everybody who has badmouthed him behind bars. Taking down industry scalawags and uncovering more privileged insights that may possibly shake the hip-hop community is at the best of his to-do list after his discharge. Suge accepts that indeed the four most capable individuals within the industry have made it enormous due to flawed practices. While he was behind bars, it's not difficult to translate these messages as they sound like a warning to Diddy. It appears like Diddy incorporates a parcel to stow away sometime recently Suge comes out and uncovered everything. On the off chance that you do not know why Suge is so decided to bring down Diddy, let me tell you that these two music tycoons have been at each other's throats for a long time. It all began as a West Coast versus East Coast contention around 30 a long time prior, in 1995. During the source grants held in modern York City, passing Push Records CEO Suge Knight took the opportunity unorganized to toss shade at Diddy, without saying his title, of course. Suge didn't indeed attempt to be inconspicuous, as everybody instantly caught on his discourse as a gigantic offender to Diddy and his unused York-based awful boy records. Knight said, any artist out there that needs to be in craftsman and stay a star, and do not ought to stress almost the official maker attempting to be all within the recordings, all on the record, moving, come to passing push. Shug couldn't have been more unequivocal, considering Diddy's propensity of showing up in his artist's videos. While the complete hip-hop community knew who the discourse was coordinated at, Diddy remained noiseless and maintained a strategic distance from examining the subject. At whatever point inquired almost the shade, he acted astounded as in the event that he had no thought what the issue was. Whereas Diddy attempted to imagine that nothing was going on, the fight between the two names on the West and East Coasts was developing. As specialists from the equal companies rapidly rose to notoriety, pressures between the two names and their makers raised, particularly with the rise of Tupac and Biggie. The competition between Shook and Diddy went past advancing their craftsmen and turned into a full-fledged war between the music tycoons. It appears like Shug had the upper hand in this competition, considering the things he permitted himself to do. Rapper Keith Murray once seen how Shug Knight slapped Puff Daddy exterior and Atlanta Club. Agreeing to Murray, one of their partners had as of late been murdered, and Shug held Diddy mindful. Rather than looking for Vindicate by shooting Diddy, Shug gave his industry faux a effective slap. As Murray reviews, one time we were at Platinum House, Shug was there, I was there, Puffy was there, and we were all partying and chilling. It got late, and the night scattered. At that point, all of a sudden, exterior, I woke up and taken note there was a dead body right there before the Platinum House. The verbal contention rapidly turned into genuine savagery. As Keith said, Shug gone up against Diddy, and abruptly, Shug smacked Diddy. Keith portrayed it as insane and startling. He included that Shug brought it. From the cleared out field down south to Georgia on Puffy. Murray too said that it wasn't since Diddy was powerless, as he had seen him harsh folks up some time recently. Maybe they thought it was best for everybody in case Diddy Fair took the slap and gulped his pride. That's it for today's video make beyond any doubt to subscribe to our channel for more recordings like this.